Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding find followers count and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Tesla interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called followers with two different columns, user ID, follower ID, and their data types being the integer. The combined column user ID and follower ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains the IDs of a user and a follower in a social media app where the follower follows the user. We are asked to write a SQL query that will, for each user, return the number of followers and return the uh, table ordered by user ID. Okay, let's go through this example. So, for example, in this followers table, so for user ID 0, right, so there is only one follower. For user ID 1, again, one follower. And then for user ID 2, there are two different followers, right, 0 and 1. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is basically what uh, we can group by user ID, count the number of followers, and then uh, return those followers, uh, that count of followers, and order by user ID. Let's go ahead and uh, develop this query. So from this table called followers, right, what we are doing is we are grouping by user ID, then we are returning the user ID and then we are counting the follower ID. Now I have one question here. Should I write distinct follower ID here or should I just write follower ID? And what does this line basically tells you, right? So if you see, if even if I don't write distinct follower ID, since user ID and follower ID is basically this combination is a primary key that is non-null unique values. So even if I don't write distinct in this case, it will give us the correct answer. If you want to write distinct, it is good enough, but I'm just trying to demonstrate that even if you don't, uh, like it won't be a problem. But ideally in real world tables, it is possible that there is duplication. So it is good to write distinct, right? Okay. So let's go ahead with distinct follower ID and since the output column should have name followers count. So you just write it as followers count and finally it says to order by the user ID, right? So order by user ID. Okay, so this looks good. Let's go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we had to do was group by, uh, count the number of followers, could write distinct, don't write distinct, does not matter, spe specifically for this case, because the combined columns, user ID and follower ID uh, is a primary key that is non null unique values. And you just alias it as followers count and order by user ID as asked. So let me know if this video was useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.